Have you ever wondered what happens to information when it falls into a black hole? A black hole at its core is a region of space-time exhibiting gravitational acceleration so strong that nothing, not even particles or electromagnetic radiation such as light, can escape from it. Now imagine throwing a book into a black hole. The book carrying information disappears, seemingly erased from the universe, but here's the catch. The laws of quantum mechanics, a fundamental theory in physics, assert that information can never be lost. So what gives? If the black hole gobbles up the book, where does the information go? Does it get crushed to a singularity, spewed out in another universe? Or does it linger at the event horizon, the point of no return? This conundrum, this seeming contradiction between general relativity and quantum mechanics is what we refer to as the information paradox, baffling scientists for decades. To comprehend this paradox, we must first understand quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is the branch of physics that deals with the tiniest particles in the universe, like electrons and photons. It's a realm where the usual rules of physics don't apply and things can get, well, a bit weird. One of the key principles of quantum mechanics is quantum superposition. This is the idea that a quantum particle can be in multiple states at once. A photon, for example, can be both a particle and a wave at the same time. It's only when we observe it that it chooses one state. It's like flipping a coin that is both heads and tails until you look at it. Now let's talk about quantum entanglement. This is a phenomenon where two or more particles become linked and instantly affect each other, no matter how far apart they are. If you change the state of one entangled particle, the state of its partner will change too, even if it's on the other side of the universe. It's as if they're communicating faster than the speed of light, which Einstein famously called spooky action at a distance. So how does all this relate to the information paradox? Well, according to quantum mechanics, information about a particle's state cannot be destroyed. If it could, it would violate the principle of quantum superposition, where the state of a particle is determined when it's observed. It would also break the rule of quantum entanglement, as the information about the entangled particles is shared instantaneously. This means that if a particle falls into a black hole, the information about its state should still exist somewhere. But according to classical physics, anything that falls into a black hole is lost forever. Hence the paradox. It's a clash between quantum mechanics and general relativity. And it's one of the biggest unsolved mysteries in science. So the quantum world, as peculiar as it is, sets the stage for our information paradox. Enter Stephen Hawking, who introduced a new element to the mix, black hole radiation. Hawking proposed a theory that flipped our understanding of black holes on its head. He suggested that these cosmic colossi were not just all-consuming voids, but they could also emit something. And that something was black hole radiation, or as we now call it, Hawking radiation. Hawking radiation, according to the physicist, was a result of quantum fluctuations near the event horizon of a black hole. This meant that black holes could slowly lose mass over time, a concept known as black hole evaporation. Here's where things get really interesting. If black holes evaporate, what happens to the information they consumed? Hawking suggested it might be lost forever, contradicting the principles of quantum mechanics, which state that information can never be destroyed. Hawking's theory made the paradox even more perplexing, suggesting that information might, after all, be lost in a black hole. However, scientists have proposed several potential solutions to this paradox. One of the more popular theories among physicists is the concept of information being stored on the event horizon of a black hole. This idea, known as the holographic principle, suggests that all the information about what falls into a black hole is actually smeared out and stored in two dimensions on its surface. In this way, no information is truly lost, it's just transformed. Imagine it like this. If you were to throw a letter into a fire, the paper and ink would burn up, but the ashes would still contain information about the original letter. It's just that the information is now encoded in a much more complex and less readable form. Similarly, when something falls into a black hole, the information it contained does not disappear. It just gets scrambled up and encoded in a new, more complex way on the event horizon. 
Another theory that has been proposed to solve the information paradox involves the concept of wormholes. Wormholes are theoretical passages through space-time that could potentially create shortcuts for long journeys across the universe. According to this theory, when something falls into a black hole, it could actually be spit out somewhere else in the universe through a wormhole. This means the information isn't lost, it's just transported to a different location. Some physicists have also suggested that black holes could actually be gateways to other universes. This is based on the idea of a multiverse where our universe is just one of many. So when something falls into a black hole, its information could be transferred to another universe. Again, in this scenario, the information isn't destroyed, it's just moved to a different universe. That said, while these theories are all fascinating, they are highly speculative and remain unproven. Scientists are still searching for a definitive solution to the black hole information paradox, and it's a topic of ongoing research in the field of theoretical physics. These theories, while fascinating, are yet to be proven. Another intriguing proposition is the holographic principle. This principle, born out of string theory, suggests that all the information in our three-dimensional universe can be encoded on a two-dimensional surface, much like a hologram. Let's break this down. Imagine a balloon. When it's deflated, you can draw a picture on its surface. As you inflate the balloon, the picture stretches and distorts. But, in a way, the information of the original picture is still there, albeit in a different form. This is a rudimentary way to understand the holographic principle, it's the idea that you can describe a volume of space like our universe entirely by the information at its boundary. Now, let's take a leap and apply this to black holes. The event horizon of a black hole, the boundary beyond which nothing can escape, could be seen as a two-dimensional surface that contains all the information about what's inside. This would mean that when something falls into a black hole, its information isn't lost. Instead, it's smeared across the event horizon. But what does this mean for us, living our lives in what we perceive as a three-dimensional universe? Well, according to the holographic principle, our 3D lives, the universe, everything we know, could just be a projection of information stored on a distant two-dimensional surface. Our perception of depth, of volume, might be an illusion. This twist on reality is not only mind-boggling, but also has profound implications for the information paradox. If information is stored on the event horizon of a black hole, then it's not destroyed when something falls in. Instead, it's transformed and stored in a different way. Could the solution to the information paradox lie in viewing our universe as a 2D hologram? It's a mind-bending thought. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of black holes, we're not just learning about these cosmic phenomena, we're also challenging our understanding of reality itself. Yet, there's another twist to this tale, known as the black hole firewall paradox. This paradox introduces the concept of a firewall, a hypothetical surface that exists at the event horizon of a black hole. According to this theory, anything crossing the event horizon would be instantly incinerated. This idea, however, contradicts the principle of equivalence in Einstein's theory of general relativity, which suggests that crossing an event horizon should be a smooth and uneventful experience. The firewall paradox further complicates the information paradox. If a firewall does exist, it would imply that information is not lost, but rather transformed into a state that we currently cannot comprehend. However, if there is no firewall, then we're back to the original information paradox, where information seems to disappear into a black hole. This brings us back to square one, with more questions than answers. So, is the information paradox truly unsolvable? We've delved into the depths of quantum mechanics, explored Stephen Hawking's groundbreaking work on black hole radiation, and pondered over possible solutions, including the intriguing holographic principle and the controversial black hole firewall paradox. These theories, as complex and varied as they are, highlight the ongoing research in this fascinating field. Yet the information paradox remains a perplexing enigma, a testament to the mystery and majesty of our boundless universe. The paradox's significance goes beyond the black holes. It challenges the very foundations of our understanding of physics and reality itself. 
Remember, science isn't about having all the answers, but about asking the right questions and relentlessly pursuing them. As we continue to probe the mysteries of black holes, no doubt, new revelations will emerge and perhaps one day we'll unravel the riddle that is the information paradox. The information paradox continues to challenge our understanding of the universe, reminding us that there's always more to learn.